morning guys i am up it is hot already it is 8 30 in the morning and it is hot hello summer how you doing nobody asked for this but i mean that's okay you know you know what is cool and calm and refreshing and is just going to get me all the way together mm, zip fizz fruit punch oh my gosh so recently a lot of people have been asking me what zip fizz is um you guys it's basically just like a vitamin electrolyte supplement uh, that comes in a variety of different flavors and is basically the best thing that ever happened to me. Uh, feel free to visit www.zipfizz.com for like all sorts of details about them. Also, uh, you can buy them on that website or Amazon. I actually have them linked in my Amazon store. Uh, the link is in the description box below. I love this stuff. I drink it every day. Uh, even with my cut down to KetoCon challenge, you saw guys, I just posted a video um, this morning on Sunday morning. So you can check out the details right there uh, about the cut that I'm doing over the next four weeks to get ready for KetoCon. Oh my God comment down below right now if you're going to KetoCon if I'm going to see you there if you want more info about KetoCon uh, you can also go to their website which is www.ketocon.org I'll put that link in the description below as well enough talking it's time to drink some Zip Fizz oh my gosh it smells so good how does it smell good okay. all right guys turn up the AC, you know, get yourself in a, in a cool climate controlled area and get ready to shake it in three, two, one. Don't break a sweat. Maybe break a sweat. I don't know. What are you trying to accomplish today? To a beautiful day. Oh my gosh. I just love it. I just love it. Hey guys, just left the gym, incline treadmill. I'm starting off at a four incline and a 3.3 miles per hour. Like I am just continuing to improve. And that was challenging today. Like, I don't know if I'm sweating because that was challenging or if it's just so hot, like it's just so hot, but I definitely worked up a good sweat. It was a great workout and now I'm excited to get to Meyer. This week, as mentioned, I am starting my cut down to KetoCon challenge. So that means that I am eating specific macros, which you guys, I'm really excited about because I haven't done that in a very long time. So what usually happens is I think about what I want to eat, I cook it up, and then after I do that, I will put it in a macro calculator to see like what it turns out to be, you know? So I cook the food and then I calculate the macros. But now uh, for the next four weeks, I have already pre-calculated all of my macros. And now it's kind of where I play that macro Tetris to see what foods I'm eating to specifically hit those numbers. If you want to see my specific macros, you can go to www.watchautumnketo.com. I have a whole little um, spiel about the cut down to KetoCon challenge and what my specific goals are. I'm really excited. Excited. So one of my goals for the challenge is to taper total carbs uh, every week. And so this week I'm starting with where I've, I've been for a while, which is 20 total carbs. So as I'm cutting that week per week, I want to make sure to take full advantage of my total carbs while I have them. So that means this week there are going to be a lot of vegetables. So I'm definitely making a cauliflower and a broccoli dish of sorts with some sort of meat uh, and then my standard breakfast. I don't know what I'm going to have for snacks yet or for sweets. I know I'm definitely going to have Zevia and Jello. I don't know if that'll be it or if I'll add something else. I'm not sure, um, but I'm just excited to, you know, get strict, get disciplined and get to looking good. You know what I'm talking about? Mm. <laughs> okay, that is it for me. I really don't know what I'm getting exactly from the store. Well, I know what I'm getting, but I just don't know like how I'm going to put it together. But time will tell. Let's go ahead and get to the store and get it figured out.
Hey guys, it's my mom. Hi, Hi. Hello again. Hey, so like, I'm fortunate enough to live like two seconds away from my mom. So like, she's basically over my house all the time. All the time. Most of the time it's super annoying. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's actually very convenient. So she just stopped by like, hey, what are you doing? Exactly. Wanna hang out? Yes. So we've just been sitting here watching TV yes. for the last hour. I've been done with meal prep. To be honest, it wore me out. I don't know if it was the heat or being on my feet or something, but I was yeah, worn out. Famished. Famished. Mm -hmm. So we sat down <laughs> and watched an hour of TV mm -hmm. and I feel rested and recovered. And now I get to go to the shop. Yay! Yay! Where are you going? I think I still want to go walking. So I guess I'll go walking Oh my by God, myself. that's awesome. Meal prep does look delicious. So hey, you stay tuned. Exactly. So I can't wait to show you. I'm going to let everything cool down and then I'm going to the shop. And then when I come back, I will wrap up and show you all the cool stuff I made. Yes. Say bye. 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 Maddie, sit. Sit, Madeline. Okay, take a couple steps. Oh, my Maddie girl. Maddie. Madeline, sit. Madeline, sit. Madeline, don't pay attention to me. Good girl, Maddie. All right, guys, I am back home, so let's check out meal prep. Meal number one, as usual, I got eggs, I got bacon, I got sausage. If it ain't broke, do not fix it. For meal number two, you saw I just whipped up those little steak pieces. I don't really even know what I'm trying to accomplish here, but I've been in the mood for steak lately, so I'm excited about this. All it is is steak and Cajun seasoning. For my vegetables, you see here I just have that boiled broccoli. I'm just gonna throw some butter on that. And then this is just that boiled cauliflower, and then once it was done boiling, I drained it and then mashed it up with a spoon, added six tablespoons of butter, and six tablespoons of sour cream, and it just looks creamy and delicious, and I'm so excited. So this is meal two. For my snacks, I have pepperoni and cheese, and then for my desserts, I have Jello and I have Zevia. Okay, so full transparency, even though I am starting my challenge tomorrow, I haven't really calculated the macros for all of this stuff. I'm confident that it is under macros. So what I will have to do is then figure out some macro cappers. So maybe I'll have a bulletproof coffee with a couple tablespoons of heavy cream. Maybe I will throw an extra tablespoon of butter on something. I really don't know how much it is yet, but I do know that I'm not gonna go over. And hey, if I am, maybe I will have less cheese or less pepperoni. I'm not sure, but you can look out for my What I Eat Wednesday video to see the details on that. Okay guys, I started out the day kind of slow, but I made it, I finished, and now I'm gonna sit down and relax and gear up for my awesome challenge that starts tomorrow. I hope you're joining. Let me know in the comments below what you're doing, what you're making for meal prep this week, and I cannot wait to hear about it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make weekly meal preps, weekly what I eat Wednesdays, monthly weigh-ins, monthly keto crate unboxings, and the occasional product review and recipe. You can also find me on Instagram and Facebook at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks, and I'll see you next week.